This video is going to be how to install Librake ELEC onto one of my little Amlogic S912 boxes. And this is the box that uh, is running the Librake ELEC on now. But what I'll do is show you how I got it on there. So anyway, this is the M8S uh, Pro from Mecoil. Okay, this is the website that we will be getting our ROM from, Libre, and this one is created by Gendo, Gendo. We're going to be installing on the 912. So we're going to get this one right here. It's the latest one, October the 20th. So well, actually, we're going to get this one here. So we're going to download that. Download. Okay, and so as it gets downloaded, and I'll show you what we got to do. Now we're gonna we can either use Rufus, which I normally use, or we can use Etcher. That's another little program that works pretty good. So takes a minute to open up, and while it's opening up, this should be downloading. Okay, it's downloading now. Show it all. Downloading didn't take long. Okay, that's done. All right, so now with uh, um, with Etcher opened up. Now this one we do not even have to. Um, where is it? Right there. Anyway, we don't even have to um, decompress it. So we're going to go ahead and select the image. And we're going to take this one here, the Leah. Gendo. That's the one we just got done downloading. So we're going to take that one. Now this one I installed on my uh, the same box, but this one is going to be the uh, 9.0 that we're going to put on there. So we're going to put this one on there. Select the drive, connect the drive, I'm going to put a drive in here. Flash it. Okay, that's all there is to it. So we'll let that go ahead and uh, create a bootable Libre, uh, which Libre is a little uh, Linux uh, application that's basically uh, strictly using uh, Kodi. So it's a Linux-based Kodi. Oh, it looks like it's done already. So anyway, when it gets done that, it will go by and check it. So anyway, I did not have to decompress the file I just downloaded. I think on Rufus, I have to decompress it. But this one, this program, you don't, and it's finishing up now. So as soon as that gets done here, I'll take you over and show you. We'll put it on the uh, TV and see how it works. Okay, now the most important thing you could do in order to get these uh, Libre working on your Android box, we have to have the correct... Uh, device tree. So we're going to go to, we're here at the forum, Libre ELXE forum, the community bills, okay, 912. Now if you want the Kodi uh, 17, 8.2, we click this one. Okay, now we're looking for the device tree. Downloads, okay, that's where you get the actual one. I downloaded that or the device tree. We need the device tree. Okay, now the particular box we've got, it does not have the gigabit ethernet, it's got the 100 big ethernet. Now the box we got is 3 gigabyte of RAM, so we're going to take this one right here. So we're going to download that. Okay, it's done. Now, what we got to do, we go into the downloads, Okay, uh, there it is right there. Okay, now I've already changed it to DTBING, 
So that's what we'd have to do to this one. We would have to change the name to this one. So let me do this. Let me rename it. I'll put a one on it. Okay. Now, we got to change this name right here. Rename it. And we want to change that to dtb.img. And we delete the rest of this. That's it. Okay, now what we do when we get done, we got to copy that to the, uh, the micro SD card that we just created that's got the Libre on it. So the micro SD card that we just created to uh, this one, we go back into there, open it up, and copy that DTB to that micro SD card. And then we take it over and put it into our box. So that's all there is to it. So, but that is the most important thing you can do is to add that uh, the DTB. You have to add that to your uh, device after you install uh, made it a bootable. So it will replace the DTB that's already there. So that is the most important thing you have to do. All right. Thank you very much. Since I do not have a built-in card reader on my computer, I've got this little uh, thing right here, and. Uh, it's a multifunction card reader, so it accepts all different kinds. But anyway, this this is my little card right here, and right now it's finishing up, and now it's unmounting it. But all it is is a little device that I purchased, and I just connect it to my uh, my uh, cable. So I just keep that in my drawer till I need it. But it, anyway, it's done, so I pull it out. Now, with this one, I did not have to go into your windows and remove it, safely remove it, because the program Etcher does all that for you, so it removes it. Now, this one, I just happen to have a spare penny. That's what I got it onto, but I've got a bunch of these micro SD cards floating around. So anyway, that's what I grabbed. So we'll see how it works. Okay, this was the one that was, I had in there already for the uh, Libre. This was the 8.10 Libre there. But this is the one we just created, that one. So we're going to have to insert it into that little slot right there. And then since the reset button was broken from the factory, I can, normally, to install it, I would just pull the power, put a pin inside here, a paper clip inside here, with that, uh, that installed in it, plug the power back in, and it would boot into Libre. So I don't have that option, so I have to use a different option, and I'll show you that. But anyway, once I boot it up, and it goes into um, Recovery Menu, and goes to Libre, the um, remote, the stock remote, does not work at this point in time. So you have to use a mouse or keyboard. So since this has only got a couple things, I use that. So anyway, I'll show you what i got to do. Okay, what you're looking at right now is Magadanz's uh, ATV port. That's what I'm running on this uh, Me Cool box. So I'm going to go to the app drawer. Now I've already installed the uh, terminal emulator. Okay, now we've got to type reboot. And we've got to type update. Reboot, update. Okay, I'm using the stock remote on this. Now I come over here with a little blue return button. Click that. Now hopefully we're going to uh, go into the Libre install. So let's see what happens.
We have to have patience, so give it a second or two, and it should come into the Libre. So right now it's probably extracting the information from that uh, bootable SD card that we just created, and it's probably putting it into memory and trying to decide what to do with it. So it should pop up here in a second. So just hang on. Mm.